Happy International Women's Day. The latest from podnews.net with the podcast show, the new international festival for podcasting in London this May. Triton Digital has published data for women's podcast listening. Fiction is the top genre for females aged 18 to 24, and Crime Junkie is the most listened to podcast for women of all ages. The company also says that women are more likely to use Apple and direct websites to listen. And if you need a decent embedded player, we've linked to lots of them from our show notes and our newsletter at podnews.net. Jen Moss at JAR Audio has published Women Making Audio History. Deezer has added 100% women filter and playlists to its service. Women's podcast network Mamma Mia has given over its site to articles that it wishes it could be writing. There's also a special edition of Sounds Profitable with Claritas today, focusing on women in podcasting. And just in time for International Women's Day, Katie Kremitzos has managed to hit 40 million downloads from her women's meditation Meditation Network. Spotify US has launched the latest edition of Sound Up. The company's training program will aim to uplift and amplify the next generation of diverse storytellers in the family podcast space. Over the course of five months, up to 10 hand selected aspiring podcasters will receive support, guidance, and tools to succeed. We have a quote from Verdell Walker from Spotify in Pod News Today and the link where you can submit your ideas. Magellan, a French premium podcast studio, has launched a number of paid subscription channels on Apple Podcasts. The company had pivoted away from podcasting to a personal fulfillment app in 2020, but they seem to have grasped podcasting once more. We quotes from Mathieu Gallet, the co-founder and president of Magellan, and Susie Warhurst, the head of international at Apple Podcasts. Blueberry has unveiled a new podcast audience survey platform used to gather demographic information about podcast listeners. How's your boss? Curry Norden, a well-respected radio research company, is conducting a survey to find out how good audio businesses are at supporting, encouraging and developing their frontline talent. Please take part. You'll find a link in our show notes and our newsletter at podnews.net. Storyboard, a platform for internal and private podcasting, has had a rebrand and new redesigned web experience. In case you, like us, missed it, A10 has launched the podcast AI Audio Mixer Mic Live, which the company calls the industry's first AI-optimized audio mixer. We'll link to the product page, a fancy video, and the manual. And a few weeks back, but only surfacing for us now, Om Malik wrote analysis of Spotify's purchase of Chartable and Pod Sites. He says, in a few years, we will wake up and realize the immense impact of these two small tuck-in deals. And in podcast news, The Real Estate Rebel with Scott McGillifray is back for a third season, this time working with Acast. It'll cover stories like how to invest in a hot real estate market, how social media is changing the real estate landscape, and lessons Scott has learned from being a landlord for over 20 years. The Bituation Room has been added to the TYT lineup of podcasts. It's hosted by Francesca Fiorentini, a journalist, stand up comic, creator of the web show Newsbroke, and the host of Red, White, and Who on MSNBC. Undisclosed has announced it's come to an end with the final episode published yesterday. Hosted by Rabia Chowdhury, we link to the history of the show today in our show notes and our newsletter at podnews.net. She's on a panel at Podcast Movement in two weeks. Getting Even with Anita Hill is a brand new show from Pushkin Industries and lawyer and feminist icon Anita Hill. The show will feature conversations about a more equitable society. And the latest season of Axios's How It Happened is titled Putin's Invasion, which breaks down how the invasion of Ukraine played out in slow motion over eight years, then escalated suddenly in the last few weeks. This podcast is brought to you by The Podcast Show, the new international festival for podcasting in London this May. It's a two-day business event which has women speakers like the CEO of Wondery, Jen Sargent and Steph Simon from Clubhouse. Also access to over 120 global brands and unmissable live shows. You can get 20% off day passes with the code PODNEWS at thepodcastshowlondon.com. And that's the latest from our newsletter. To read all the stories in full and subscribe for free, we're at podnews.net. 